Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make a foam wig base for all of your Borderlands and cell shade cosplay needs. Unfortunately, I didn't get to tape this part, but to make the pattern, you'll put your hair up as if you're going to put it under a normal wig, and then saran wrap your head, and then place strips of duct tape or paper tape over to cover it. Then you're going to mark out your hairline and the center of your head from nose to nape. Pull your pattern off and cut it down that center line and trim up to the hairline marked and place one half of the pattern aside. Then find the apex of the curve on one half of your pattern and mark it. It'll generally go from above the temple, along the side of the head, to the back side of the neck. Make sure to mark what side of your head your piece is on, as well as the front of the head on each piece. We will only be using one side, as the reverse will be the opposite side of the head. Now, transfer these patterns onto thin craft foam and cut out two of each piece, one on the regular side of the pattern and one on the reverse. Mark the left side, the right side, and the front of each piece. You will also need to cut long half inch wide to three quarter inch wide strips, three of them in total. From here, you will use a heat gun to warm up the sides of the head pieces and roll them over a curved surface like a heat safe jar. Apply contact cement to the top edge of the side pieces, both sides of the center pieces, as well as the long strips. Once all the glue has dried, begin applying the strips to connect the seams as you would a piece of tape. You may have to stretch the head pieces to get them to line up properly around the curves. Be sure to start at the front of the head in case they end up not lining up properly, as it's easier to hide the back of the hairline than the front of the hairline. From there you are ready to begin cutting and gluing your hair pieces on. For loose curly wigs, cut blade of grass shaped pieces from foam and wrap them around a heat safe rod like a metal pole. Heat it up with a heat gun and then let it cool on the pole. From there you can remove it and start gluing it onto your foam base. It's better to curl them tighter than you like and then straighten them out to your desired length by running your hands over them. Glue the blunt edge of the hairpiece to the base wig using contact cement. If you are unsure how to lay the hair, examine the direction your own hair lays, or even a wig for help. Be sure to bring the hair over the edges of the cap to cover your hairline. It's better to make long, small baby hairs that you can cut short after trying it on to really hide and sell the hairline. Once you're happy with your wig, carefully spray it with a couple coats of Plasti Dip and paint to your desire. I hope this tutorial has helped you make your own foam wig. If you did or you have any questions, feel free to contact me on Instagram at letdownyourgoldenhair. Also, if you enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to share it with your friends. It would help me out so much. While you're here, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more tutorials. And remember, cosplay is all about having fun.